I thought we would do a studio tour. I know a number of you have reached out to me over the time and said, oh, I want to see more of your studio. So let's do that today. What I'll focus on is showing you some of my storage solutions, um, where I put a lot of my collectibles, my things that I use in my flat lay photography, as well as the way I sort of organize my supplies and um, keep track of my various projects. So let's get started. So one of the things that I really, really love using in my studio are these baskets, these wicker suitcase baskets. I normally will um, categorize um, items in them. So here I have handmade papers. I love putting these little tags on them. These, this is art that's in progress. So any kind of collaging and things that I'm working on that's in progress is here. Um, clear envelopes. A lot of the envelopes that I use in my packaging, here's some on top that go in here, as well as some more handmade paper. So down further are a lot of my vintage books. So a lot of these books are pages that I'm using in my collaging. Here's an old dictionary, um, lots of sort of dictionaries and things like that, old French books and what have you. A lot of times I take the covers off and redo them. So these are things lined up for projects, more baskets with stamps and um, things like that in them, wood blocks and what have you are in those. And, you know, I just find these a lot at the thrift stores. The thrift stores are great places to find these. You can find them for a couple dollars, five or six dollars. Um, so love, love those, love those. And then just my other stuff mixed in. And here's Copy Central. You guys know how much I love my HP NV 5660. A lot of you guys have this now. Um, love, love, love this little thing. It's an inexpensive printer, as you guys know, but it's awesome 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 with the free print programs I have all of that there and then around here is a lot of my library my art books and things like that that I want to just have a quick resource um, I have a larger library downstairs but these are my art books then my journals are over here a lot of journals that I've already been working on are here as well as smaller books that are blank and ready to go for different journaling. And so here are some more baskets that are, and cigar boxes also. This is, you guys have seen this a lot where I keep all of my tags and what have you when I'm working on my projects. And then these, this basket has a lot of my small collage elements, just things, bits and pieces in here, things that I don't want to throw away, 
because they're great for the jelly junkadoris and for collaging, but it's sort of out the way. Some flash cards, and down here is where I have all of my Goodwill and Sa Salvo and Savers and all those wonderful thrift stop shops that I'm always having you guys go find your photo papers, your sheet protectors, um, a lot of our, um, you know, our paper, our resume paper that's 25 to 100 percent cotton. So I have all of that stored down here. So it's near the copier. I can find it when I want to work on projects and I pretty much can see it pretty easily. So it also helps me to keep control of things so that it, I don't get too much, have too much stuff, although I do have another closet elsewhere. <laughs> solutions has been these Alex um, units from Ikea I love 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 these I have three of them and they pretty much have held most of my paper ephemera and things I need to have my hands right on so I'll show you inside the drawers um, the first one here in on the bottom is one of my current projects which is my book project you guys know that I've been working on called womb wisdom so a lot of the papers that I've been printing on are down here. Um, a lot of the conceptual projects are down there. I actually have um, one of my leather journals that I've been working on that um, where I'm starting to put the pages in there and just kind of play with page order and ultimately how this book is going to make its way to completion. So that, what I try to do with my drawers are look at things in terms of projects. So every drawer has a particular um, function. This is some mylar that I've gotten. I love this stuff. These are some um, prints that I've created, um, silk screens. In this drawer, these are all my Jelly Junkadori. So the, when, I'm, when you guys order the journals, I have the two sizes. They're already here cut. And that's where I put a lot of them ready to go and then um, some more of the fabrics and what have you. So here are some more book projects, old books, ephemeras, um, the Sari Silk, large wine labels, things like that. These are some of my finished book projects in here. Actually, these are some that I'm also going to be working on. I got these metal um, letters at a thrift store, antique store actually, love those. These are books that I'm in the process of working on. So these are different books in various stages. And so I put a lot of that in this drawer so that I can come back and keep on working. And in this drawer is a lot of my flat lay stuff. So, so things that I use in my flat lay photography, um, for Instagram and for Pinterest, things that just inspire me and I love working with are in this drawer. This is my little drawer of yummies. Up here are my, um, the Asian dictionaries and stuff that you guys know I use a lot. And then these are my journals through the last couple of years. I go back and they're like resources for me. Um, this is the box that Seth Apter gave to me in one of the workshops that I did with him. And then up here are other projects that I'm working on. So this is a current palm book project that I'm working on over in Patreon. Um, some of the Arteza paints that I've been um, playing with, so they're at the ready. And then these are other books that are in various stages of um, me working on them, along with some of my jelly journals. So in this drawer is where I put all of my vintage fabrics, laces, um, I even have some old purses and things that actually I'm thinking about using back into book projects. Um, so lots of old collectibles and things in here that are going to be a part of book projects. And this one is all my leathers, my smaller pieces of leather that I wanted to have ready for the pro my projects and then I have larger ones in another spot but those are the ones I'm using and I can get right to them. Same thing here, these are a lot of my old um, vintage papers, um, these are wine labels, these are very old French um, ribbons 
that I got a while back. And so these are all specialty things that I use in my various projects. Up here, same thing. These are a lot of stamps and with things that I collect when I go on my travels or use in my work. You guys know my napkins. A lot of you've got those in purge packs. And then um, tags, things like that are in this drawer. Up in here, more of uh, old wallpapers and papers, things that I'm using in projects. You know, my tissue paper that I like to use, my jelly printing in, so. And then this drawer, the same thing. A lot of this is ephemera that I'm using in various projects, books that I'm considering, and a lot of my better Sumi paint brushes and what have you I put up here, um, along with some of my wood stamps, so. So this drawer, all of my my handmade Asian papers are in here. So these are a lot of my, some of my collaging is in here. But I have a lot of my handmade papers, a lot of my specialty papers that I use in collaging and projects are in this drawer. Here, more of the same, some old book boards that I want to, you know, kind of use in projects, some old ephemera. And then a lot of this is also handmade paper. Um, circles and various kind of sculptural pieces that I'm using in work. Here is collages in progress. So a lot of things that I'm kind of playing around with, I know I, they're at the ready. So these are my larger collages that I have that are in progress. Here's more paper and slightly smaller, but this is all handmade paper. Um, that, you know, all this I've made, all these are papers that I've made that I want to be able to have it ready for collaging. And then up here are smaller jelly prints um, and pieces that I want at the ready to be able to put in my journaling, in the jelly junkadories, in collaging, things like that. Pieces that I've done that are just here ready to grab. And the top is basically the same. There's just more of, you know, different elements and envelopes that I've created. Some of these I've done with you guys and they're ready for me to be able to just use in my work. Silk screen pieces. And so on top of this last unit I have more of these baskets that are full of handmade papers and some of my book um, structures. So I'll show you this one is empty but I like that little basket. I haven't decided what I'm going to put in it yet. But in here, these are, oh, these are more of my journals. So these are my journals, my Midori um, junk art um, Dory kind of journals that I've done. Um, so I've stored those in here along with some other book structures. And these next two are really chock full of handmade papers. A lot of these have been making their way into my purge packs, but it was a time that all I did was stay in the studio and make papers. So I have tons and tons of papers, and this is not even the half of them, but these are the ones I like to have at the ready so that I can use them. And I love these picnic baskets. They're just perfect. You can get a lot of stuff in them, but yet it looks good. So I don't have a a lot of chaos to look at, but at the same time, I know what's in them and I can find them. Also, this is where I keep some of my washi tape. You guys know I'm, I'm not really huge on washi tape, but I do have ones I love. So I got these little containers. I love these. Um, and I put my tape in there. And then these drawers just have a lots of, like this is my traveler's notebook, um, various stickers and tags. So these are just lots of rivets and old threads and things are in there. Here is an actual Sumi brush. Um, it's one I've had for quite a while. It actually comes apart in two pieces, so that's how it comes together. But it's for really large paintings and large scale pieces. So I keep this hung up here and it's time for me to put this into use. So back here um, are some of the other book projects. These are leather wallets that I'll be using in book projects. More drawers full of tags, things like that. All of my um, score tapes and things are over in here. So I'm still on my desk. And this is just um, my stamps and what have you are there. More 
washi tape, and some antique ephemera and things like that are back here. And then over here are, you know how I like to store my jelly prints that I do on the um, tissue paper. So this has been good for me. More drawers with vintage threads, washi tape, um, grommets, things like that. So these drawers are marked with what's in them. Just makes it easier for me to find things. And then down here are, this is these are more of the Ikea drawer sets. I forget what these are called, but they're like $14 or $15. I love them because the drawers are deep. And these are full of a lot of my various tags and labels and a lot of these kind of stickers and stuff for journaling. More of the same. So a lot of that stuff is down there. And then on top of these, because it's behind where I work or where I put my jelly plates. So they're just easy and accessible. So it's more of that kind of storage. Oh, this is where I store all of those um, painters, papers that we use. So in my stuff there. Right here next to my workstation. So this is primarily where I'm working, where I do my videos. This is behind the scenes. This is how my tripod is set up my light box um, and so mostly all of the paints that are accessible for my jelly printing are on this desk this is where I put my um, these are all of the ink that stays on that we like using and then over here are the rest of my jelly plates the, the two that I use as stamps and more of our stencils and things that we've made, my brayers, and then these are a lot of my vintage papers. There's an assortment of the cotton fiber, the school paper, all of that is right here, right next to me, um, along with all that I need for the jelly printing. It's right at the ready. And then I reach over here and I can get to my cart that just has a lot of other little things like my these clips and things like that, you know, my brushes, the mark making brushes, these are things that are at the ready, um, but are all nicely organized so that I can get to them, but at the same time, they're not right on my desk. So there you have it, that's the studio tour. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's a lot of behind the scenes, but it's how I stay organized as a working artist, how I get all these videos pushed out, and just how I enjoy myself every day in my studio here. So there you have it. All right, take care. Bye-bye.